We start this broadcast on a somber note. The first mayor of Edina, Jim Van Valkenburg, was laid to rest June 1st. For more than 50 years, he helped shape Edina into the thriving community it is today. Edina 16's Dietrich Nissen spent time with some of those closest to Jim Van Valkenburg and has more on what they see as his legacy. There were two things Jim Van Valkenburg invested in, Edina and people. He really uh, cared about people. He cared about this community. There's one word to describe uh, Jim, a real sweetheart. You just felt good having Jim around. Betty Hempstead and Kay Bach worked with Van Valkenburg on Edina Centennial. The pair say he liked to tease them. He would call me Betty and, and her Kay, and he would send us postcards from wherever, and it wouldn't necessarily be from where he had been. He put the two postcards on the table, wrote half of it on one, and then continued across to the next one, and then mailed them. So we had to get together to read what the message was. Does that tell you something about Jim? <laughs> he was just a very unique, fun, fun person, uh, beyond being very, very smart. In addition to being a lawyer, Van Valkenburg served for 20 years on the city council the last seven years as Edina's first mayor. He was not for big government, he was not uh, grandiose in his ideas, but he just wanted to have a well-run uh, government uh, doing right things, doing good public works. Uh, it seems as though Jim was every place. I mean, uh, if there was something taking place, Jim was, uh, was involved. He was a wonderful mentor uh, for the mayors that are still living, Denny Metzold and Fred Richards, me. Uh, he wasn't a preachy person. Uh, he wasn't someone who was going to tell you how to do your job, but if you, if you wanted a little bit of guidance from him based on all those years of experience that he had, uh, he was willing to give it. After his run as mayor, Van Valkenburg stayed active in the community. He was involved with Edina Rotary, the Edina Crime Prevention Fund, and the Edina Art Board. However, he played a crucial role in establishing the Edina Community Foundation a group dedicated to strengthening the city as a premier place to live and work. The first thing to be obvious about Jim when you were with him in a meeting is he deeply cared about the community and whether the organization was doing all it could to serve the community. By the late 1980s, Jim's contributions earned him the honor of having this park just off Lincoln Drive named after him. Jim would come to uh, our holiday parties. He would always come to the employee Christmas parties and the like. And we always, it was a standing joke, we always would ask him to come up and, and give a speech uh, at the parties. And people in the audience would groan thinking, oh my God, you know, what are you thinking of asking the mayor to get a give a speech? Every year it was the same thing. He'd come up to the microphone and say, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and then go sit down. He uh, is truly going to be missed in this, this community. I'll, I'll, I'll miss him. I would guess literally hundreds of people who've had a chance to work with him and be inspired by him and uh, be in a position to directly observe his commitment to continued public service. That's, that's the legacy that I think he'll leave behind. In Edina, Dietrich Nissen, Edina 16. If you'd like to contribute to a memorial, you're encouraged to send donations to the Van Valkenburg Fund for Children. The Edina Community Foundation uses the money to help children in need and their families, as well as assist with funding community support for youth who are financially challenged. Some funding also goes to send kids in need to summer camp.